May is Stroke Awareness Month, and one cause of stroke can be from a ruptured brain aneurysm. In Health Watch, Shelly Botot shares one local woman's story and what you can do to reduce your risk. About 30,000 people in the United States suffer a brain aneurysm rupture each year. Brenda LaBeouf is back to doing things she loves, like meeting friends for lunch. Loving life. Life is good. Whether it's taking my dogs to the woods or taking them to the beach for a swim. Seven months ago, she was scared she wouldn't be able to do any of those things. Brenda was home alone when suddenly... It was pressure. It was like, like your head in a vice and somebody's tightening the vice. Brenda believed she was having a brain aneurysm. Her mother had one 29 years ago. It was just the amount of pressure. And then I started thinking about my mom. A friend brought Brenda to an emergency room in the UP, where tests confirmed her fears. She had a ruptured aneurysm. With a brain aneurysm, when it ruptures, it's, it's an emergency and it can be life-threatening. I bawled. Um, I cried. I, um, I was scared. Brenda was flown to Aurora Bay Care Medical Center, which offers a certified comprehensive stroke center. It's a center that provides 24-7 coverage for all types of vascular disease, being hemorrhagic stroke or occlusive stroke, as well as having multiple different areas that are evaluated on a national level. Neurosurgeon Gerald Eckard performed a coiling procedure. I took a small catheter from this large catheter all the way up, entered in the aneurysm, Place the small coils that you see here, and after you deploy several of those, then the aneurysm itself is blocked from blood flow. Blood continues to flow beyond the vessels. Brenda did not have a stroke, but a patient can develop a hemorrhagic stroke as a result of a ruptured aneurysm. The blood in there is very reactive to the other blood vessels, and that can cause strokes as a, as a cause of the bleed itself. Some of the risk factors for aneurysm and stroke are similar, including family history. When you think about multiple risk factors such as high blood pressure, smoking, those are definitely common in both. There are steps you can take towards prevention. Treating your uh, blood pressure, watching your diabetes, making sure that's well controlled, keeping active, avoiding smoking, you know, watching your diet, keeping your cholesterol low. Brenda feels lucky she went to Aurora Bay Care and credits Dr. Eckhart with saving her life. And I feel that if they didn't get me here and he wasn't the surgeon that performed the coiling, I may not have survived it. Aurora Baycare Medical Center has the first and only certified comprehensive stroke center in Northeast Wisconsin. To learn more, you can call Aurora Baycare or email healthwatch at aurorabaycare.com. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelly Botot.